Welcome to 3 and Out presented by Comerica Bank. I'm Danny Rogers and we are getting the opposing view. That brings us to Kelly Price, Fox 5 Atlanta, who hosts the Rise Up Tonight show that you can catch at midnight on Friday. Kelly, we're going to talk the three biggest headlines coming out of Atlanta as the Lions get ready to go on the road there to the Falcons. Falcons have six wins on the season. Five of the six wins, though, they're coming by one score or less. So they are pulling out these crunch time wins. What have you seen out of this Atlanta team that's helping them get the wins down the stretch? I think the biggest thing is big picture perspective. These are games that they lost a season ago. They were two and eight in one score games a season ago. Now they're six and two. I think the Lions have lost six one score games, if I'm not mistaken. So it's kind of like the reverse of what the Lions have been doing. Um, just having, you know, one one possession or one thing that goes right and goes in their favor. They kind of have been doing it in a lot of different ways. There's not really one specific thing that I can point to for the Falcons. They really don't have one major strength um, on this team, and that's not the one thing that's kind of been carrying them in these late game situations. Um, they've dropped five games by 18 points or more, which is also, you know, a problem for them. When they're up against the league's best, they've shown that they can't compete in those ways. But I do think this week is going to be a really competitive game. The Lions obviously are on the kind of up and up, winning two of their last three. Um, you know, whereas the Falcons, they're, they're just kind of scraping by these Jets teams, Jaguars, Giants, these kind of rebuilding teams um, that are in similar situations. They've shown they're better than them, but not by a huge margin. Yeah, you touched on it. Falcons have only beat teams that have a record of 500 or less. So yet to beat a team that has a winning record, but Falcons are at home in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. They have not won yet at home, which is actually crazy to think although they do have those six wins. So what do these Falcons need to emphasize here in week 16 to finally get a win over Detroit, who, like you said, is trending on the upwards? Yeah, I mean, they just need to get a win at home at this point. They have two more shots at it with this game, and then they have the Saints at the end of the season at Mercedes-Benz. It's just been very weird that they haven't gotten that win at home yet. Their only home win was in London against the Jets, so that's not even really a home win either. Um, so they just haven't won at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Um, there's really no one factor that goes into it when you hear Arthur Smith and the players talk about it. There hasn't been one reason why that's been happening. It's just kind of like a weird coincidence. But now with their playoff hopes, quote unquote, on life support, it's just kind of get a win at home. This is the, your last chance to do so. Falcons are looking to bounce back after a loss against the 49ers. A lot of the offense was just not present. I mean, you only had 62 rushing yards. There was a lot of pressure on quarterback Mac, Matt Ryan. He had three sacks on him for the day. So which area of the offense needs to see some major improvement if they want to get a win over the Lions on Sunday? Uh, probably all of the parts, <laughs> if I'm being honest. The offensive line has really had an up and down season. You know, against the Panthers a week ago before this 49ers game, they allowed no sacks on Matt Ryan. Their run game was really on the up and up. And then this last game, they, like you said, had a, not a great run game. Matt Ryan was under pressure almost every time he dropped back. Um, the offensive line is a big part of where all those problems stem from. They also were really bad in short yardage situations. They went one of five inside the 20 yard line and they were shut out in three trips inside the 10 yard line. I mean, that is just insane um, to think about. They got to give Matt Ryan more time. I mean, they don't have Calvin Ridley who stepped aside from football due to mental health issues. Obviously no Julio Jones here in Atlanta anymore. They don't really have that number one receiver. Um, Russell Gage has stepped into that role and he's really emerged um, in, in his own way, but he's not your number one guy going forward. He did have a great game last week against the 49ers, but you know, you want to get guys involved like Kyle Pitts, Cordero Patterson has been a huge spark plug for this offense. For whatever reason, he just wasn't as involved last week. They've really got to get better on all, you know, parts of this offense to really see success this weekend. All right, let's see if they can put it together. Lions, they're looking for back-to-back -back wins here in this 2021 season. Falcons need to win out the rest of their three games if they want to at least have a hope of making the playoffs. And you know head coach Dan Camolda's Lions would love to spoil that momentum. Okay, Kelly, thank you so much for joining us here on 3 and Out.